Hi guys. So I'm going to do a haul of things I've gotten probably over the past few weeks. Um, movies, comic books, books, like novels, and uh, some shirts. So I guess I'll start off with movies. Um, I got this longer than two weeks ago. Um, it's a uh, all uh, nine of the Puppet Master movies, which I have not seen all nine of the Puppet Master movies. I've probably seen like five of them. And uh, all three Killjoy movies, and I've never seen those. But this was really cheap at Kmart for like five bucks. So, Because usually I don't buy movies I haven't seen, and I don't buy movies I don't like. But if it's in a box set type of thing like this, then I will. Then um, I got all five of the Final Destination movies. Again, I don't like all of these films, but they were all in a set, so I thought I'd get it. And it wasn't too expensive. I think it was like ten bucks or around ten bucks. And uh, it's just basically uh, five. The final movie I got is uh, not horror, it's uh, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and it's a uh, Studio Ghibli, or Ghibli, people pronounce it differently, um, animated film, and I love that studio. I've My Neighbor Totoro was one of the first Asian anything that I ever watched, and of course now I'm kind of obsessed with Asian films, but sadly this is the last film that that studio, or animated film that studio will be producing for a while, so... And I haven't seen this, but again, my record with the company is good because I generally like most of their films. So, yeah, Tale of Princess Kaguya. Now I'll move on to uh, the graphic novels I got and then the actual like hardback novels I got. So the first one is Fantastic Four. I was never a big Fantastic Four uh, fan, but I do enjoy this run with, especially with uh, Richard and Sue's children, and I don't know, this was just really good, and I plan to get uh, the entire run eventually, but yeah, this is, this made me a big fan of Fantastic Four, because usually there are some series like that where I don't really like I'm not a fan of the group or individual, but there's certain runs that are really good. So, yeah, I like that. Um, a few years ago, they revamped a lot of DC's line. They called it the New 52, and they really re released kind of did different storylines and things like that with uh, pre-existing characters. And one was Batgirl, and I'm a huge fan of Batgirl. In case you don't know, um, but she she has been Oracle for a long time um, because of being disabled by being shot in the back or it messing up her spinal cord. But she was Oracle and she was a really great character and she was one of the few disabled characters and she was still an amazing character even though she didn't really fight she was more so uh, kind of the brains behind things and just helping out in that manner but I still really liked her in the Birds of Prey uh, series she was in. But she's back to being Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, in this run, the New 52, and I really, really liked it. I wasn't sure, but yeah. So I've been buying the collected volumes of the New 52 with Batgirl. This is the first volume and the second. The last graphic novel I got was one that I've read a long time ago, I just didn't own it. And that's The Killing Joke. Uh, this is probably one of the most famous Batman uh, graphic novels. A lot of people have read this, a lot of people own this. But I really love it, and of course, like I was saying earlier, um, there's a lot of stuff in this, like especially with uh, Batgirl getting injured and becoming a, uh, you know, a whole different character. So. 
yeah, but The Killing Joke, I love this. I just didn't own it. So yeah, that's all for now. I just, I occasionally get um, graphic novels because I'm a fan of them, but I, like I said, I have too many interests to just spend money on any one thing. <sighs> novels. Um, I have a bookshelf full of books. I have more books than I have movies. But uh, I'm a big fan of Stephen King. I own most of his books, but I have not gotten a lot of his books in the past three or four years. So I bought them off Amazon. They're really cheap. Like, you can get hardcover novels off Amazon for like a few bucks. And with shipping, it ends up being about $5 per book, which is amazing. So I haven't read any of these, and they're just books I've wanted. Um, the first one is Revival. Doctor Sleep, which is of course is like kind of a sequel of of sorts to um, The Shining. Mr. Mercedes, and November twenty second, nineteen sixty three. And this one, I'm not sure. I, I know the others are horror. Um, I don't think this is horror. I think this is um, a different look at the JFK assassination. But um, I basically love everything Stephen King's written, mostly. I haven't. The only thing I haven't read by him is the uh, Dark Tower series, I think it's called. Um, but everything else, like, yeah. I have tons of books. And the last thing I guess I'll show are a few shirts I've gotten. Most of them are workout shirts because I've been working out a lot. I usually get guy shirts because they're more comfortable. Um, the first one is just kind of old school Mario characters, 8-bit um, looking, and yeah, it's cute. The next one is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which, yeah, I was a big fan of when I was a kid. And these are some workout shirts which you probably won't find interesting, but I like to wear fun shirts when I work out. First one, of course, is Batgirl, because I'm obsessed. Supergirl, but it can be anything, really. And this is probably my favorite one. Because, you know, again, Batgirl, Batman. And yeah, that's the stuff I've gotten over the past few weeks. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.